yourself into these things. You may not touch that. Just keeps getting better, don't it? You ever swing at a man? <laughs> They're dealing with real people here. The kind of build things and care about them. Somebody, please help me! I'm Max Keller. This is how I usually leave a bar. A bunch of bikers were harassing a young couple. Naturally, I had to try to stop them. I don't think they liked me. I think I'll try again. Stick around. This should be fun. Halfway across the world was a man who was going to change my life, John Peter McAllister, the only Occidental American ever to become a ninja. Time for you to go, little fella. on his way to the United States to find a daughter he never knew he had. Ellerston. And ended up with me. Once he got out alive.
Ellerston. Somewhere in the Twilight Zone. Wait! Wait! I like classical music. Good. Henry likes Mozart. He saw Amadeus from my pocket three times. Henry? A little guy there with the brown fur and fond eyes. Who's this behind us? Just get me out of here, okay? What do you do to you? What does it look like? Please, just take me to the airport. You really must want to get away from this guy. No, no. My father's airport, Trumbull's Airfield. It's just right on the other side of the trees. You gotta you got know where that is. Just passing through. Do you know this guy behind us? Yeah, I know him. Husband or boyfriend? I don't have either. Look, mister. Max Keller. Holly Trumbull, you're great, and I'm really scared. And all I ask is just please take me to my home. OK, OK, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm funny in a crisis. <laughs> Got under this hood. Six more of those little suckers going like hell. Anything you uh, left out of this damsel in distress story? Like that's a cop behind us? Just don't stop. Listen, lady, uh, cops and I don't quite snuggle up. Sheriff Kyle has a personal vendetta against myself and my father. A vendetta? Take a better look, okay? What do I need to spell it out for you? The man tried to rape me. The cop? How do I get myself into these things? Run over. This is the sheriff's office. Pull up. Brace yourself against the dash and don't let Henry fall out. He gets crazed when he's mad. Pass go, Max. Go directly to jail, Max. I thought you died on me. You haven't moved for an hour. A warrior in 16th century Japan sat under an icy waterfall with his arms above his head like this, without moving for 86 hours. Why'd he do that? I can't imagine. Yeah, well, I say you didn't move at all. Slow heartbeat. Close the door on the senses and listen to the silence. There must be a lot of laughs at a party. Look, do you think you um, could stick around? I might need you. I'm going off duty for the day. Oh, sure. A loner. I got the signs. Sit reading the classified ads in the local motel until Dick Powell comes running down the television alley at midnight with a gun in his hand. <laughs> Sounds good the way you put it. Um, he had his hands on me. I'm sorry. That makes three of us. Henry was just getting to like you. So where's a good place to stay around here? Uh, Cloverleaf Motel is back down the road a couple of miles. Cloverleaf? Maybe that'll change my luck. So long. Max, um, I believe you can order chilled champagne even after midnight, in case Dick Powell's company isn't enough. It won't be. Good. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave this bar through the window, pal. 
After wrecking the sheriff's car, I thought I'd take a break. I didn't know McAllister was right behind me. Ever meet a ninja in a bar? It's a lot of fun. Last time he blacked her eye. Someday, someone's gonna settle it with the sheriff. I'd like to do it myself. What'll it be? At one time, a Singapore sling would have been the only answer. I'm looking for this person. I sell drinks. You want information? There's a sheriff right there. Get here. Real pretty. You want to strut this down the stem, old man? Hmm? <laughs> Woo! Que bonita, darling. You may not touch that. Just keeps getting better, don't it? Hmm? I've been hearing about him down at the truck stop. That old man can take care of himself. Yeah, well, the sheriff and I have a prior. Go for it, kid. Hard and fast. Yeah. Carrying a concealed weapon is an offense in this county, old man. You're gonna have to confiscate it. Please. Check out, Jack. Time for a younger fella. Stand hard and fast, old man. I pulled your rap sheet, boy. It reads real pretty through six counties. Brawling, disturbing the peace. Now you come burning through my county. Add to that not stopping for an officer the law. I didn't see one. All I saw was a frightened girl and a clown with scratch marks all over his face. You ever swing at a man? Protection against the sword. Get out of my way! Bring all of your energy to one point and you'll be under Get out of the way! Does he know that? I 
need your help. You're kidding. Ever think of hiring that as a tornado? Just get me out of here. Least I could do. Yeah, yeah, I see them, I see them. Hey, hey. You always carry an arsenal with you everywhere you go? All my possessions are with me. Some are more lethal than others. <laughs> I was in a bar one time in Saigon. This young dude comes in and tears the place to pieces, like it was made out of nothing. <laughs> Said he was a ninja. A ninja? Yeah, he carried a variety of different little weapons in a leather pouch. Say, what else you got in that suitcase of yours? My toothbrush. How could you be hurt? I mean, no one even came near you. Shuriken wound. It's a small spiked wheel, and the small on my back it keeps reopening. We better stay out of the emergency room till the sheriff gets tired of watching him. Better get off this road, too. Find some place else. You're home? <laughs> You're traveling in it, Jack. Someplace better. Mr. Trumbull, any one of my client's proposals would make you a very wealthy man. Well, you could move to New York and uh, buy yourself LaGuardia. <laughs> in my office, there's a picture of a field with a Jenny sitting in it. A man with a man in a leather flying jacket wearing a red scarf. He's got his arm around the shoulder of another man. And you know where that field is, Mr. Hanlon? You've caused my client to lose a lot of money. And yourself, unnecessary that grief. That field's right here. And the man in the leather flying jacket wearing a red scarf, that's my father. And the older man with the biplane, this fellow named Wilbur Wright, who flew down to have lunch with my father because he'd invented a little thing called a turn and bank indicator. And Mr. Wright thought that this would be a good place to build an airport. And my father thought so, too. I can assure you, you that... Know, if Mr. Christensen would like to come by here and take a plane ride, it's on the house. Maybe he'd have a better perspective of the world from 5,000 feet. Those lenses cost me a lot of money. Please, be very careful. Every time I fly into this airport, I look down through the clouds, and I see some good memories. They wouldn't look that good any place else. Now you tell Mr. Christensen that. Very well. You might need some help. But there's a run and old guy's getting tough tonight. What are you doing back here? Who's Christensen? Property owner. Owns as much of this town as the law will allow. He wants to level the airport and build a shopping center. Just stay out of this, Holly. He got into some more trouble and brought it back. Some old guy the sheriff was hassling. All the way from town, huh? Where is he? In my van. Take him to the PQ. Come on. All right, they're driving a customized van. Start searching over there. You got a warrant, Sheriff? Because you better have one before you take one more step onto my tarmac and a stretcher to take you off. Threatening an officer of the law is a serious offense. You're not listening to me. Now, you get off my property and come back with an army. All I'm going to need is one more FAA infringement. I'll be back to shut you down. Chew on that. What happened, Kyle? Yeah, he's hurt. Who is he? I have to know the answer to that one myself. See you later.
Did she kiss you? It's scary. Seems like the right moment. Guess they're just not making ninjas the way they used to, huh? What do you know of the ninja? Assassins, weren't they? Phantoms. You know, I'm surprised your fellow ninjas let you go. There was a sender. Yeah, pinwheel in the back. Nice. Max Keller. Do I get to call you master? It's got a ring to it. John Peter McAllister's the name on the discharge. From where? They don't teach what you did in any army I know of. Army Air Corps. At the end of the war, I found myself in Japan. A ticket home and nowhere to go. There's something about the tranquility, the people. Kept me there. What brought you home? Or were you just running? Searching. My daughter, one I didn't even know I had, wrote to me a month ago from Ellerston. This picture's taken outside of one of Trumbull's hangars. I wanted to make out the girl's face, though. And that's why you've traveled halfway around the world after 30 years? Just to find her? What other reason could there be? You're looking over your shoulder for someone. Secrets locked inside your head that no one else can know about? Lots of secrets. I'll take the ones you can give. I don't understand. I'm making a deal with you. I'll help you find your daughter if you'll teach me what you did in that bar and the way you moved, the way you felt. There must be all kinds of tricks in that suitcase of yours. You would not endure the discipline. Try me. Or the emotional commitment. What, what, you don't think I got emotions? Too many of them. You want to fight. Take on six attackers at once. That's not where it is, Max. I can hack it. You got nice qualities. But not for a ninja. Anyway, I'm a cantankerous old man who's lived alone a lot of years. I can see why. I've been alone, too. Just... Just thought I'd try another route. Anyway, hang in there, old fella. I'll hang in. Good luck finding your daughter. Good luck finding yourself. Nobody wants us, Henry.
inside. Come on, baby. How could any human being go through that? Even a ninja master. Who would do this? Sheriff Kyle. He's the hired hand. There's another one. Haviland, the lawyer. I'm sure he's going to report on how that little arson show went down. To who? That's exactly what I'm going to go find out. Now, wait. For what? For strategy. For stealth. You want to be a ninja? I still do, yeah. Then you must have a plan. I got a plan. I'm going to go nail Christensen down so tight he's not going to move for a week. Come with me if you want to watch. Guts do count for something. And we'll be building from Willow Lane right across the airport to the river here. Congratulations, Johnny. It's going to be a beauty. Great layout, John. Great. Good luck, Johnny. Good luck with the center. Wonderful party, Mr. Christensen. Thank you very much. John. So, what do you think? I think your shopping center's premature, considering you don't own the ground the East Wing is standing on. And how did it go down? It didn't go down, Mr. Christensen. It went up, like a big fireball. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I, I, I don't understand your remark. Well, maybe you can understand this. You're dealing with real people here, the kind who build things and care about them, and can't be bought like your Harvard flunky here. Go ahead, blow up another airplane. Set fire to the whole damn airport, because you're not going to move Trumbull or his daughter four feet off that patch of earth. Not if I can help it. Trumbull. Chumbo, uh, that's not a familiar name to me. Uh, and here's a name to get familiar with. Max Keller. It's mine. I want you to get used to it, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Probably down at the DA's office. Something tells me you're not on the guest list, Mr. Keller. Long line of party crashes. Mr. Keller walked into the wrong party. See him out, would you? Would you? <laughs> Enjoy all this, pal, because it's just going to be a sweet memory when you're an 8 by 6 box with no shadows. <laughs> It's okay. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little misunderstanding. It's okay. <laughs> Tell Kyle I want that young man in jail. Cheers, Mr. Keller. I got thrown out. I figured. Even Rocky had to take a couple of lessons before he went back in the ring with Clubber Lang. Now, 
If I can't control your passions, the least I can do is teach you enough to stay in one piece. Thought you'd never offer. How do you know about Rocky? You've been out of the country for over 30 years. I saw him on the airplane. Hell of a guy, isn't he? You're kidding with this outfit, right? It's traditional. We'll ease you into it. Come at me. No holds barred. I'm going to kill you. OK. Own your reflexes till you react swifter than thought. Your key. Here, right? The center of your being. Inner strength. What about getting the outer strength smacked out of you? <laughs> That's something you should also be concerned about. Let's see how you kick. Good. You didn't feel a thing. It was still good. A ninja must have perfect balance. Keep your eyes on the attack. <coughs> From in here, extend. <coughs> Expect attack from any direction. Concentrate. What else you got in that suitcase? When you're ready. Well, you win. I can't hack it. Max. Yeah, but don't think I'm walking away from Christensen. Because I told him I was going to nail him, and I meant it. Thanks for the lesson. You have more tenacity than I expected. And speed and courage. Thanks. Didn't do me a damn bit of good. It showed you can do more than fight. And that you're going to have to do. Now you're beginning to understand me. You have no choice. You saw Kyle set the fire at the airport. You let Christians know who you are, unless you split town. Fat chance. We'll have to deal with this. We? I didn't like what happened last night. I didn't like that at all. Maybe the sheriff would like a visit from a real live ninja. That could be arranged as soon as I get my breath back. What is it? Presents. Let's make that visit. Rosetti, Palmer, Johnson, Donahue. Who are they? Police reserves. 
Every word passed through the DA's office. They'll be by directly. Now, where's Christensen? You can... I can get me in a nasty, but my friend behind you, you know the one dressed in black with the samurai sword? You know how those ninjas are, always going around beheading each other? Barbaric, I know. But to them, it's some kind of ritual. Know what I mean? Now, where's Christensen? I'll tell you. I like a man who keeps his head, don't you? There's a guard in the lobby at the front desk, a lot of monitors and security guards on every floor. The boss is on the top floor. Now, how do we get up there? I would suggest you use the elevator. How are you going to get up there? I'll walk up. The stairs? The building. Sorry I asked. Max Keller to see Mr. Christensen. <laughs> now, you should have gone down like a sack of flour. Sometimes an old-fashioned right-hand cross comes in handy. Christensen. Helicopter's a little late, huh? Too bad. 
Your lawyer, Mr. Havland, and Sheriff Kyle are both under arrest. But then, of course, you know that. That's why you're leaving in such a hurry. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you planned. Well, I'm glad we had this chance to meet again, Mr. Kelly. Otherwise, your grandstand play last night wouldn't mean a thing, would it? Well, it's better late than never. Just one question. <clears throat> and what would that be? How do you plan on getting up on the roof? You really think you can stop me, Kelly? Just keep talking. Been expecting you. A ninja does not betray his destiny. You will die. Fight again tonight. It's hurt. An artery was severed. 
Who is he? Okasa, now a ninja master. Was one of my students. Sent to kill you. What ancient little gadget did you do to sever Okasa's artery? My fingers. Sorry I asked. Holly knows your daughter. She's in Atlanta. Is she all right? Find that out when you get there. I can take you that far. It's pretty. Symbol of my household. It's what Okasa wanted. I don't get it. For another man to possess it would mean I was no longer alive. You guys got your own set of rules. No one else can play, huh? I was taught the secrets of the ninjas for a purpose, so that I might pass them on the way my master passed them on to me. Anyway, what good is a ninja teacher without a student? Scary again. <laughs>